Yep, I did this in Mojave, and it was super easy. All I did was bring a video clip of a person down into the timeline, then I looked through the title options, found this pre-made text called Flyby, and dropped that into the title track right above my video clip. I keyed in the text, changed the font and size, and positioned the text where I thought it'd look good. Then I gave the text an outline. I also lowered the opacity of the outline and text, just so it would appear a little softer and not take too much focus away from the subject in the video. Next, I dropped down into the timeline and extended the title clip to match my video clip. Then I ran a quick export and brought that exported video right back into the timeline. Okay, quick recap. I brought a video clip into the timeline, I added a title and customized it, exported it, and brought the export right back in. The hard part's over. See, I told you this would be easy. Okay, so from this point, I simply deleted the title clip, then I took the original video clip and stacked it directly above the new one, like this. With the top clip highlighted, I clicked the background removal tool, selected precise, and then hit remove. While that's processing, I want to remind you that currently, this will only remove backgrounds from behind people in videos. So it's not going to remove the background from around a car, for example. If you don't have this tool yet, that's because it's a new feature that rolled out in 2023. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a discount code and a link in the description. Okay, to finish up, and this part is totally optional, I dropped a sparkle overlay filter on the bottom clip. Then to really make the subject pop, I grabbed the magic enhance preset and dropped that onto my top clip. Have fun with this, experiment, and let me know how you use this in your project. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help.